In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some advanced uses of the um, of the breakpoint, and specifically, I'm going to show how to get some finer grain control so that your breakpoints can be uh, used a little more programmatically. Uh, we've talked about how to enable and disable um, breakpoints from the breakpoint window, and also from just right-clicking on the breakpoint. But this is going to allow us to breakpoint whenever a value is equal to another value or whenever a condition is true. So we get, again, a finer grain control over how the, uh, the breakpoint is enacted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a line of code, make a simple breakpoint, and the first thing I'm going to do is right-click and select breakpoint properties. When I do notice that the file dialog appears and that uh, basically it says in webform 1.aspx on line 48 character 1 is where the breakpoint is set. We can also take a look at the function tab which says line 22 of the button 1 click event. Uh, that's where the breakpoint resides. So the first thing that we're going to do is set a condition. Now although my line, my breakpoint is set on the um, uh, on a line that has nothing to do with the value of i, I'm going to go ahead and set the condition whenever i equals 3 and this code hits to this point uh, in, in its execution, then I, want, uh, then I want the application to stop. So let's go ahead and test this new breakpoint that we've created. We'll type in 30 and 60. And so let's take a look at, it stopped on this line. What's the value of i? The value of i is 3. So it completed successfully. Excellent. The next thing that I want to demonstrate is how to change the condition to remove this, basically, and select the hit count instead. So what I want to do instead is whenever that breakpoint has been hit five times, on the fifth time, I want it to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and select some values here. Now, what I want to do is take a look at the value of i. i equals 4. But as you can clearly see that we want it to stop when the hit count equals 5. Well, the, the reason is because when i equals 0 to, to 4, that would be 5 times that this breakpoint would have been hit. 